What's up everyone, I'm Steel City Dahmer, and welcome to episode 1 of Terror Reels. I want to thank everyone at Carnival Spirits and Broken Menace for letting me debut episode number 1 of my channel for the Juggalo Takeover. On Terror Reels, I will be reviewing horror and sci-fi movies, but today I have a very special episode for everyone. Since we're all Juggalos here, I'm going to be covering a fun 3D mini-movie that came packaged with a 2004 release of the Hell's Pit album. That's right, I'm talking about bowling balls. What? That's right, Jay. Bring it, bitch! Well, that's pretty fucking rude, Joe, but whatever. Let's start the movie. We start the movie with Amy and Stacy driving down a desolate road in a piece of shit pickup truck from the 1930s, talking about tits and smoking a joint. Amy drops a joint like a fucking rookie, causing her to take her eyes off the road and slamming into the inbred version of the Southwest Strangler. After hilariously sending Shaggy Two Dope into the air, the two girls get out of their truck in a panic to see what the fuck they just hit. Off in the distance, they spot Shaggy drunkenly running through a field, dragging a dead fucking body. This scares the shit out of the girls and have them frantically running back into their trucks. As per horror movies typically go, their truck won't start. They call to have their friends pick them up. They don't need to worry because Violent J is here to save the fucking day. After a few smooth lines from Jay, For you, miss. Thanks. And for you, <gasps> Tulipies. Wow, thanks. How did you know tulipies were my favorite? Doesn't matter. He tells them that he's the owner of the ICP bed and breakfast right up the road, and they can wait for their friends there and have some drinks. Lemony, lemony, lay, lemony, 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 lemonade, perhaps. After Stacy is done being a bitch about it, they decide to take Jay up on his offer. We cut over to Tiffany and Carl bitching about having to pick their two friends up while Brad sticks in the back, talks shit, and gets high. Brad rules in this movie. I'm really rooting for him to survive. He's funny as fuck. You don't need to worry about your itinerary, cause we got plenty of green butter. <laughs> we go back to Jay giving these ladies a brief history on ICP bedding breakfast, and there's nothing around. No one to hear them scream. We are in the middle of what you'd say nothingness. After they all go inside, it's not long before Violent Jay's inbred brother, Shaggy Tudo, comes half stepping in the room and cuts Stacy's head right the fuck off. Fuck is this? What the hell did you do this for? I was gonna try to fuck this bitch tonight! This pisses Jay off because he was trying to tap that. Jay fucks up by insulting Shaggy and not giving him that girl's severed head. After a few wrestling moves, Jay relinquishes her nugget and takes Amy away into a cutscene for the music video Bowling Balls. I won't be covering the music video for Bowling Balls. I cover movies, and not music videos. Go find that shit on YouTube. We come back two hours later to find the three amigos pulling up to the ICP bed and breakfast. And for absolutely no fucking reason, Brad kicks ahead of a fucking yard flamingo. I fucking love this guy. After a little more bickering outside, they go inside and come up with a plan to search the house. Everybody splits up and ninjas out to their respective floors as we cut back into a music video segment. Carl finds his way upstairs. He hears a strange noise and goes to investigate. He opens the door to find Shaggy sharpening his weapon before he pisses his pants. Son of a motherfucking bitch. He quickly closes the door only to find Jay swaying in the hallway, swinging a fucking hatchet. They stare at each other for a minute before Violent Jay throws the hatchet deep into Carl's face. Right as Carl falls to the ground, Shaggy comes out and hacks Carl into pieces, and Jay just stands around like he scored a winning touchdown in the fucking Super Bowl. Shaggy keeps slashing right into a cutscene for the music video. We come back to Tiffany going down the basement stairs, something we all fucking know don't do in horror movies. Tiffany wanders around the basement until she finds Amy in a room that would make Ed Gein proud. 
They scream back and forth at each other before Tiffany becomes useless and runs away, leaving her friend just hanging there all tied up. As the clowns cut her off upstairs, she books down the stairs and with the clowns in chase. She doesn't make it too far before she trips and knocks down a sheath that ends up fucking decapitating her. Once again, Jay's super pissed off about this. Shaggy knows he's supposed to clean up after himself, and if he did, Tiffany wouldn't have lost her head. Shaggy doesn't care though, he just wants her bowling ball. In anger, Jay takes the head away from Shaggy and slaps it upside Shaggy's head, knocking him the fuck out. We cut over to Brad ninjing around the house. He finds his way into the kitchen and decides to help himself into the fridge where he finds a few severed heads cut off in the freezer. He closes the door to the freezer, and there pops up Violent Jake completely out of nowhere. Unlike the rest of his friends, Brad tries to stand up to this killer clown with some funny as fuck shit talking. What? I got game, motherfucker! <laughs> Come on, bozo! What? Bring it! I can fucking take you, man! Bring it, bitch! They talk shit back and forth to each other, right up into the point where Shaggy shoves a stake right through his guts and face fucks him with a knife for a hilariously long time. This is my favorite kill of the movie. We see Jay toying with Amy by using her friend's dead heads as puppets to talk to her. Also, in case you missed the whole point of all of this, here you go. You, you see, Amy, it's not about your fingers, your toes, your titties, or elbows. It's all about the dome, the melons, the nuggets, the craniums. And you have a beautiful melon, and we want it. So after Violent Jay explains everything to Amy, Somehow, by clenching her fist, Amy breaks free and tries to run from the clowns. You can guess, she didn't make it that far, and the clowns grab her and begin to fight over her. They go back and forth until they rip off her head and her spine just boop, outs her fucking body. Like in pretty much every other murder, Jay gets pissed off because what would mom think? After beating Shaggy with a black market body part, we cut to the final scene where another couple is driving down the road. While the driver is getting his dick sucked and not paying attention to the road, he hits Shaggy too dope and gets his fucking dick bitten off. Thanks to this well placed hook over here, we don't have to censor anything. No strikes here. Nobody is happy about the situation, but have no fear, Violent J is here. Problem, folks? And that's the movie. That was Bowling Ball. It was released on August 31st, 2004, with the release of The Wraith's Hell's Pit. The acting was terrible, but it really did add to the overall feel of this movie. Especially for a B-rated horror movie. We've seen movies with way bigger budgets do a lot worse. Overall, I love this fucking movie. I give it 5 out of 5 gut buckets. Thanks again to everyone in Carnival Spirits and Brooklyn Menace for letting me premiere this video on Carnival Spirits. If you like what you saw, please go over to Terror Reels and sub up so you don't miss out on further reviews. The next movie I'll be reviewing will be Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Thanks for watching everyone.